Hi, I'm Borgo from the internet, maker of the Dragonfly badge you'll see this year at DEF CON 26. What we have here are three fine specimens that I started up earlier so they could kind of get the synchronization going. It looks like that's working okay. I'm going to drop another one in and we can hopefully watch it synchronize in the background while I continue talking. For reference, here's one of last year's dragonflies. Uh, clearly there are a few changes. The art's a little more intricate. Uh, maybe the most important for this group, uh, going from 10 meh fine LEDs to a much more satisfying 48. But one thing that hasn't changed is the synchronization. All the dragonfly badges talk to each other exclusively using infrared. Because they use infrared, their communication range is fairly short, probably somewhere in the 10 to 20 foot range, and definitely line of sight. This is actually an advantage, because they're designed to work when you're standing around in a group talking, clearly the most important activity at DEF CON. Every 30 seconds, each badge sends out a unique beacon. Whenever a badge sees someone else's beacon, it adjusts an internal clock. Over time, a group of dragonflies of any size will synchronize these clocks, and from that, a pattern will emerge. A pattern which is hopefully pretty evident on these units at this point. Once you, if you, it takes a few minutes to kick in, but once you've left them, uh, they'll all fall into line. There are a few other hardware features to note. The most important is probably the addition of a power switch. Those of you that managed to snag a dragonfly last year will remember how horrifying it was to try to take the batteries out when you wanted to sleep at night. Uh, there's also a reset button, which serves little practical purpose, and a user button hidden up here behind the head. When you hit the user button, it'll immediately cause your dragonfly to send it a beacon, which will kind of jazz up all the ones around it. So if you have a group of people and you want to get things started, tap that a couple times. Uh, the final feature is an ambient light sensor. Unlike last year, which were just never searing, eye-searingly bright, this year they'll try to keep ahead of the curve and even in bright sunlight, crank their power way up so they're never comfortable to look at, which is of course exactly the point. This year the kit will come with a colorful ribbon instead of one of those boring black lanyards, plus uh, add-on headers because these of course support the shitty add-on standard, and a pair of premium Tenergy AA batteries which should keep them running for 26 or 27 hours at least. Okay, looks like that was about long enough for this one to sort of join the, join the party. Uh, they'll never be perfectly synchronized, there's always going to be a little bit of jitter, but if you leave them for long enough, they'll all kind of fall into line. These will be for sale at DEFCON 26, watch my Twitter for more info. Hope to see you there!